What's up, Bob Penguins? Today I'm going to do a little about math minute looking at Hardy Weinberg from a graph. So here we see that there's a following graph that shows the little frequencies of a certain population. We know that the trait is going to be where red is dominant over black, and we need to figure out in 2005 what is the uh, percentage of individuals that show the dominant phenotype. So in 2005, I see that the data point is at p equals 0 0.9, so I know my p value is 0.9. So as a reminder, here's our equation. P squared is going to be our frequency of our homozygous dominant. 2PQ is our frequency of our heterozygous. Q squared frequency of our homozygous recessive. P is the frequency of our dominant allele, and Q is the, recess the frequency of our recessive allele. So let's move this up, just give ourselves some space, and then I always use this beautiful little chart. So from the data table, oh, sorry, the graph, we find that our P is 0.9. So to find Q, I just do 1 minus my P value, which will give me my Q value. So that will be 0.1. So now that I know P, I can find P squared. So if I square that 0.9, that's going to give me 0 0.81. So then if I want to find my Q squared, I just square the Q value. So that's going to be 0 0.01 for my Q squared value. So now to find 2PQ, we do 2 times our P times our Q. So that's going to give me um, 2 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.1, which gives me 0 0.18. So now let's write all these out just in terms of our genotype. So we have homozygous dominant, heterozygous, homozygous recessive, and then we see that our P squared, our 2PQ, and our Q squared value. Now the homozygous dominant as well as the heterozygous are both going to be red. So if I add these two together, I can find that the dominant uh, phenotype is 0 0.99, but we want to write that in a percent, so that's 99%. Hope that this was helpful. Remember that AP Biopay was just assessed by y'all.